blood, sweat, and respect. First two you give. Last one you earn. One of the most important things you can accomplish is just being yourself. When you walk up to Opportunity's door, don't knock it. Kick that BTCH in, smile and introduce yourself. All successes begin with self-discipline. It starts with you. I've learned over the years that when it comes to success, consistency is key. Consistent hard work that we may not like doing today, but for a payoff we'll love tomorrow. Earn it. Enjoy it. Always asked, what's the key to success? The key is, there is no key. Be humble, hungry, and always be the hardest worker in the room. Don't be afraid to be ambitious about your goals. Hard work never stops. Neither should your dreams. We do today what they want, so tomorrow we accomplish what they can. Be the person that when your feet touch the floor in the morning the devil says, Aw oh, yes, they're up to. Grind hard, shine hard. There is no substitute for hard work. Always be humble and hungry. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work gains success. Greatness will come. I know how important it is to have people who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. If something stands between you and your success, move it. Never be denied. Once you believe in who you are and who you were born to be, it can be very powerful. Success isn't overnight. It's when every day you get a little better than the day before. It all adds up. I like to use the hard times of the past to motivate me today. The jab rummy beating, pie eating, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, all around, smack it down people's champ, the rock. One hard day of work proves you have heart. But day after day is what proves you have maturity and commitment. Think back five years ago. Think of where you're at today. Think ahead five years and what you want to accomplish. Be unstoppable. With drive and a bit of talent, you can move mountains. Success at anything will always come down to this focus and effort. And we control both. In business, you take a swing and you hope that you hit a home run, but sometimes you strike out. Strikeouts and failures are important. Being down, getting punched in the gut every once in a while by life and coming back up, that's accomplishment. In business, you take a swing and you hope that you hit a home run, but sometimes you strike out. Strikeouts and failures are important. Being down, getting punched in the gut every once in a while by life and coming back up, that's accomplishment. There's so much noise that's happening in our world, but the little voice that you've always got to listen to is your gut and your intuition, and you can do things and go beyond boundaries if you to trust that gut and instinct. There's so much noise that's happening in our world, but the little voice that you've always got to listen to is your gut and your intuition, and you can do things and go beyond boundaries if you to trust that gut and instinct. Not only do I think being nice and kind is easy, but being kind, in my opinion, is important. It doesn't matter what your name is. I want to be a man who is truthful and who won't let pride get in the way of my ripping myself open to my partner and saying, here I am. This is me. I feel there's something powerful when a man reaches a point in his life when he can be completely vulnerable. Barack Obama did tell me that I was one of Michelle Obama's favorite actors. I remember crying my eyes out when I watched the end of The Lion King, The Wall. Your success is on the other side. Can't jump over it or go around it. You know what to do. Those who are truly brave shall never live in fear. I've been fortunate to have had the life I had prior to Hollywood. I wasn't starving, I was going to eat the next day. I came to Hollywood wanting a career that had longevity, and I wasn't afraid to take risks because I had a dollar in the bank. I wasn't driven by money as much as I was driven by making a successful transition. And I was smart enough to know that I certainly didn't have all the answers and I needed to surround myself with smart people and be willing to take risks and be willing to fail. If you've ever been hungry, you can never be full. Kevin Kelly, let The Rock answer your question with a question of his own. Are you mentally, as well as physically prepared to tickle the anus of a monkey? 
Sometimes when we get our ass kicked and we're down, sometimes we stay down, and sometimes we get depressed and sometimes we don't know how to handle it, and sometimes we don't know what's going on, and sometimes we feel like it's not worth going on. You will go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. To some it's hump day. To us, it's Wednesday's getting its ass kicked and Thursday just asked Friday to switch places. If you're going to make a comedy and if your sole interest is in making people laugh and feel good and entertaining them, then you check your ego at the door. The Aloha spirit is something that is very special and very meaningful to us and our Polynesian culture. Those of you who have had the opportunity to visit Hawaii or any of the Polynesian islands know that it's a very special thing. It's an intangible, and when you get off the plane and have your feet on the ground there, it energetically takes you to a different place. The challenges that I face today are the same challenges we all face. Trying to balance your life between work, family, loved ones, your husband, your wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. If you have kids, the balancing that, balancing your work with the time you spend with your kids. The idea of wanting to be a good parent and then the motivation to be a great parent. Whether you're black, white, any color, rich, poor, regardless of religion, cousins of culture, we go through those. We have the same challenges. I want someone who can trust that my big hands are going to take care of them. In life we get an opportunity to do some cool things, and some things that are fun and that we like doing. My philosophy is, it's always very rewarding when you can make an audience laugh. I don't mind making fun of myself. I like self-deprecating comedy, but I'd like you to laugh with me occasionally, too. The money is of no concern to me, whatsoever. I started out with nothing. I'm gonna stick your head so far up your SS you're gonna have to cut holes in your nipples to see. There was a time in my life when opportunities were so few and far between they were like little cracks in the wall, and if one opportunity came my way, I would scratch and claw and bite and I would do anything I could to make sure that I grabbed that opportunity by the throat and I did not let it go. It's easy to be a badass, it's easy to act like a badass, easy to act like a tough guy, it's easy to be a diva, and it's easy to be self-absorbed. The list goes on and on but to me, I always just find it more important to be nice and kind. If you've ever been hungry then you'll never be full and I know what it's like to be hungry. When I was 13, I realized I could control my destiny through hard work. I had my hands and I was going to work my ass off, I was going to initiate and create some sort of change in my life. I would just say that I could share what served me, which was trying to find the best material that I could possibly find and make it better. When other celebrities and sports stars, or people that are successful in another area, cross over into movies, they're always encouraged to bring that same tenacity and that same relentless drive that you had to make it. You have to apply that to acting. Training for me is a metaphor for life, period. The dedication, the determination, the desire, the work ethic, the great successes and the great failures, I take that into life. Sometimes if you just take the time to really pay attention and break it down, you can figure out what caused it. And from there, generally, I can pull myself up out of it. And if I can't, that's where the support group comes in. When I train, I'm peeled away. I'm at my rawest state. Generally there's spit coming out my mouth, sweat pouring out my body, and every once in a while I may have just finished throwing up. Those are pretty good indications that it's not time to talk and you should just pass me by. What matters is performances, regardless of what the name is, whether it's The Rock, which is my nickname and people call me that all the time, it's no big deal. So, whether it's The Rock or Dwayne Johnson, in terms of being recognized, I just think that the goal is to be recognized as a good actor. I don't put much thought or weight into the name, or the name change, or what it is, or what does it mean. It's just a nickname. When he speaks to you, he speaks with an earnest vibe and an earnest energy. I'm very low-key. I don't really blend in, so it's difficult to go out in public. I like to do things that are kind of quiet, whether it's a dinner at my house, or a restaurant, or a movie night at home. I think there are a number of things that you can do to encourage your kids' dreams, but I do believe in speaking by experience of having a lot of help along the way, stumbling in the past. We've all stumbled and we certainly all deserve to get up and walk again.
If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Right now the best way that I can impact the world is through entertainment. One day, and that day will come, I can impact the world through politics. The great news is that I am American, therefore I can become president. But don't forget, I am G.I. Joe. Michael Cole, The Rock knows that you have never, ever, had a piece of Puntang pie. I love driving the cool cars, but there is nothing like driving a pickup truck. If you check your ego at the door when it comes to comedy, you've got a pretty good shot at making a great movie that you can commit yourself to, you can jump off the proverbial cliff with, and have a great time, and the audiences respond to that. On top of all that, look at this guy. I mean he's an idiot, he's seven feet of pure idiot. You put his brain in a parakeet. Zing. It'll fly backwards. On top of all that, look at this guy. I mean he's an idiot, he's seven feet of pure idiot. You put his brain in a parakeet. Zing. It'll fly backwards. Getting back into the action genre is like going back home. It's great. You want to do this, you want to go right now. Do you want to go? Then go get The Rock a bologna sandwich because this doesn't concern you. I think that always makes it fun, trying to create a heroic character and putting your own twist on it and injecting your own personality into it. Why do you ask The Rock stupid questions? Why are you an ugly hermaphrodite? Nobody knows, Kevin Kelly. How dare you little jabroni come onto The Rock show Smackdown and run your mouth about how you're the game. Well, The Rock says, if you are the game, then you quite frankly, you need to go back to the drawing board because your game absolutely sucks. Making movies has not only been an incredibly collaborative process, but there's three big parts, pre-production, shooting itself, and then post-production, which leads into marketing. And if you're passionate about the movie and you believe in it, and it would make sense that you are having done it, then you want to get out and promote it. It makes it a lot easier when the film is good and people are enjoying it. That's a traditional Samoan dance. I was lucky that I was able to fly my cousins, who are professional dancers, up from Hawaii and they were able to be in the movie with me. We had a great time. I love making people laugh and feel good, and that's awesome and special for me to be able to do that, but there really is nothing like kicking ass whether it's on a major scale, or whether it's in more of a dramatic fashion. Being physical and taking care of business the old-fashioned way is something that I love doing. I've always loved the showmanship of professional wrestling. While I love making movies, I love that platform, too. The whole idea is just to continue to make movies that I enjoy playing and that audiences are going to enjoy me in. Just to put out quality on a lot of different levels. As you step every day and we're going to see challenges, we're going to see failures, we should certainly learn from the failures and be gracious with our successes too as well. The men I idolized built their bodies and became somebody like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and I thought, that can be me. So I started working out. The funny thing is I didn't realize back then that I was having a defining moment. Why being involved in social media has had such a tremendous impact on me is deeply connecting me with fans in ways that I never had before. I was connected with fans and I always appreciated the relationship I had with fans, but through social media, it allowed a deeper connection. When I was a kid, I was a combination of Elvis, Richard Pryor, and Harrison Ford from Indiana Jones. I didn't know the value of being able to make someone happy. What kid really understands that? It wasn't until I got into professional wrestling that I felt like, oh, it's not only incredibly gratifying to achieve something, but also to make people happy. The philosophy has always been pretty clean and straightforward, which is that if I see something that I like and I can see its value to the audience and its value to me, then I'm going to take my shot at it regardless at the genre. Football changed my life and it gave me a platform to get out my aggression and it gave me a sense of value. Well, The Rock says this, you should be concerned with fixing yourself a nice, tall glass of shut-up juice. I was brought up as an only child, and we were very close. But when I was 14, we got evicted. We came home to a padlock, and I looked up at my mom and she was crying, and there was nothing to do. On the night test faced the great one, this is what he'll see. Twelve sharpshooters stinging, eleven eyebrows raising, 
10 spines a bustin, 9 noggins knocking, 8 kicks a kicking, 7 punches punching, 6 suplexes smashing, 5 seconds of the people chanting the rock's name. For rock bottoms, 3 people's elbows, on your 2 buck teeth, and an ass kicking all over New Orleans. Well, I might take a plane, I might take a train. How do you people live here? You must be insane. I'm leaving Sacramento. Sacramento, I won't stay. But I'll be sure to come back when the Lakers beat the Kings in May. I think the most important thing is authenticity, just being as real as I can be. But also flexible and open to change and other ideas and thought processes. Back when you and I last talked, I was at a turning point in my life and I was having a tough time. I was hiding it, but I had a really hard time just being me. So now it's important that I'm just me. I used to get pissed every day. I would wake up and pick up my phone and look at the alerts, and it's like, what am I going to read today? But then I realized I needed to try and be as grateful as I could possibly be. What we're in need of is a greater leadership that's inclusive and truly hears the people and doesn't have a knee-jerk reaction out of anger. Scenarios like this, while divisive, also clarify what we really want in the future. And we'll have a chance in a few years to cast another vote, and we'll see where the American people are when that time comes. Let The Rock understand this, he beats your ass in cage match last week and now you're the number one contender? Well The Rock knows exactly why that is, you've got a three foot nose you turn it sideways and stick it straight up Vince's ass. Around 2010, I took a long look at everybody I had around me because I wanted to make sure they were aligned with how I felt. I'm not ashamed of who I am or where I came from or the size God gave me. There was a large percentage of people who weren't. So I really shook up my team. Steven Spielberg has this great quote, movie making is always about noise. There's so many voices that you've got to listen to. But you've always got to pay attention to the one voice that's in your gut that always tells you it's still not good enough. Steven Spielberg has this great quote, movie making is always about noise. There's so many voices that you've got to listen to. But you've always got to pay attention to the one voice that's in your gut that always tells you it's still not good enough. You like to live life without regret, but that's what the good Lord intended for me, that's just the way it was. My goal was to make it in the NFL. I played with a lot of great players in college who went on to have illustrious, incredible careers and in the end it just didn't happen for me. I failed at that. Actors have a platform, especially during award season. Which I respect. Everyone should speak out. Here's the thing, when it comes to using the platform, I'm a firm believer that when there's something that needs to be said, I'll say it. With a haircut like that and a face like that, it looks like Billy Ray Cyrus went and had sex with a retarded hyena. Now, badass, you run your mouth about SummerSlam. Well, here's the situation. The Rock says this, if The Rock hits you, he'll kill you. If he misses, the wind behind the punch will give you pneumonia and you'll die anyway, so the choice is yours, Jabroni. I believe I'm not in the press just in terms of being photographed and paparazzi all the time, or looking for that sensationalistic type of side or anything like that, so I keep things very quiet. I'm more patriotic than I am political, I appreciate politics, but I'm not quite too sure if that's a road I'm willing to go down. When I was a kid, I was always enamored by I appreciated the movies, and I was able to see them on VHS when I was a kid, but I was so enamored by the one sheets and the posters. I had them in my room when I was a kid. If I like it, if I think the character is going to be fun, if I think the story is good and if it appeals to me, then I want to do it. I grew up in a musical family, the majority of my growing up was done in Hawaii. It's what we do. You sing, you dance, you play ukulele and you drink. Creating things I think, especially as an actor of wanting to bring to the table things that have never been done before, but also making sure they are of high quality and not having a fear. The fans of our industry are extremely savvy. At the end of the day, they understand the business is a work. It's entertainment, nothing more. The goal with me, and the way I challenge myself as an actor, is to go from genre to genre. I like that. A lot of actors always challenge themselves. 
But for me the challenge lies not only in getting better, but going from drama to comedy to action or whatever the case may be, and having a wide array of movies in terms of my filmography. Happy birthday to Steph, you are a hoe with big breasts, so take the night off from hooking. If you smell what the rock's cooking. Training not only anchors my day, but also allows me to tap into endless energy and intensity. Whether I was performing at WrestleMania or shooting a 16-hour day on a movie set, training allows the floodgates to open. It carries me through the rest of the day and night. I look for characters that are fun and that I'm going to have fun playing. By the way, that's whether it's drama, sci-fi, action, comedy, family movies, or action comedy. I just always want to have fun doing it. That's the bottom line. When I first came into acting, I had great opportunities to make a decent movie. I had a run there in 2005, 06, 07, for a long time it was oh, he's the best thing in the movie that's not that good. I started questioning, did I make the right choice? Should I have stayed in wrestling a bit longer? And then budgets became lower and lower and the pay kind of stayed the same and there wasn't a lot of growth. Any athlete or any actor who's preparing for a long time to step on a stage or step on a field or step on a movie set, who suffers an injury right before you're getting ready to perform or to execute, it is a massive challenge that's thrown your way that you didn't expect. I love the 3D revolution. I love the technology today that continues to push the envelope, continues break the new ground, and continues to raise the bar. But being on location and shooting, whether it's in Puerto Rico or Atlanta, it always reminds me of how really cool my job can be. Interacting with the fans is one of the best parts of it. If you make a good family movie, then everybody in the family can relate to somebody, or in this case something. That's always enjoyable. There's always an important place for family movies. When you're in sync with the director, on the type of movie you want to make, the arc of the characters, how the characters intertwine and interact, plot lines and story, and things like that, it really makes a difference. But I do believe that there's going to be a time where all movies are going to be made in 3D, and it's just going to be a given, and that is going to be an exciting time. I never wanted to stay in one genre, I never wanted to be pigeonholed or defined as the actor who only worked in one genre. I want to be able to work in all different genres. For me it's fun, and that's how I grow as an actor. In my mind at that time, at 14, the men who were successful were Stallone and Schwarzenegger and guys like that Harrison Ford who were these men of action. I was like, okay, they're successful, they're not getting evicted, they built their bodies, I'm gonna go build my body. It was like that. There's something very cool as an actor when you have an opportunity to play somebody who's real, whether they're still alive or not, but who has lived a life.